Straight from the heart of East Tennessee, this is 10 News at Noon. And welcome back. Melissa Graves from Donna's Old Town Cafe is joining us today, and we hear your recipe is magic. Yes, it is. <laughs> I like somebody, the sound of that. Somebody commented on Facebook, why is it magic? And my friend Brandy, she low carbs too, she said it makes your clothes fall off. Uh, <laughs> you know people skinny, are perking up right now. You're getting skinny eating this soup. <laughs> um, but I made, the, I made about nine gallon the other day, and in two shifts it was gone. And wow. I didn't tell too many people that it was my diet soup. Uh oh, that's the key. Yeah, so <laughs> what I've got going here is um, I've got all this nice steam it coming up on us. smells delicious. Too. I've got uh, half a cup of onion and um, probably a half a cup to a cup of celery. Okay. You cannot mess this soup up. You can pick and choose these veggies. You don't have to put them all. Mm -hmm. Put some of them, but I definitely uh, you definitely want to start with about three cups of water, your chicken broth, your onions, your celery, and all of your hard vegetables. Okay. And so I, I brought, I left some over here so we could see them. This is jicama. What's Have you that? had that? No. It's spelled J-I-C-A-M-A. Okay. And it looks like a big, huge turnip. Oh. You should have saw me cutting this thing last <laughs> night. It's more like a coconut kind on the outside, but not that hard. How do you cut it? I just finally took a knife and, and I tried the peeler. That wasn't working. All right. I peeled it, but it's really crunchy. Okay. And it's uh, Mexicans eat it. They, uh, it's a Mexican dessert. Uh -huh. They sprinkle sugar and um, cayenne pepper on it. Ooh, okay. So it's a little sweet, but, it, but it's going to be like potatoes in this soup. Okay. I also brought um, some turnips and some parsnips over here, mm, okay. uh, which I've not ever cooked with these things, so don't be scared of them. That was the big thing for me. I was like, well, I, don't know. New. I don't know what this is gonna be like, but everybody loved it. Okay. So I've got all those root vegetables in here and they're simmering and until they're tender. And then um, we've got about four pieces of bacon. How can this be bad? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Make your clothes fall off yeah. eating bacon. <laughs> and I've got a cup of yellow squash and about a cup of, you can frozen spinach is what I have here. Um, but you could use fresh. Okay. And then I've got about a cup of uh, frozen green beans, and I dice some fresh tomatoes because tomatoes are in season right mm. now, and I just They're can't just so yummy. bear not to have those in my soup. And then I got about a cup of cauliflower, and you could use fresh. If uh -huh. you did, I would put that in the base, and that way it could get tender. This is frozen. Right. And then I have about a cup of mushrooms. And I'm going to go ahead and add my other couple cups of water. So it was a total of five cups of water. Okay. Seems like most of this is prep work most yeah of the time. you're just gonna chop these vegetables and and you could chop them and freeze you know what you don't use okay you could make a big pot and freeze this soup um, I've got about two cups of chicken here actually this is probably more like three because I really like chicken in yeah. my soup <laughs> okay <laughs> that's what I'm saying you cannot mess this up yeah and so we're just gonna simmer this um, until um, these vegetables that we added get tender okay. and you may have to add a little more water it looks All like right. I probably need another cup to cover it okay and then after those vegetables get tender I have a tablespoon of garlic minced um, about uh, four or five leaves of fresh basil mm -hmm. or you could use about a teaspoon of the dried and then I added some roasted red pepper. I really like, yeah. this is almost like an Italian type soup. Okay. And then I have um, a dash of cayenne, and I'm talking, you would just take your a shaker, little kick. Okay. dash it, and then um, I say a pinch of black pepper. So you would just get you a pinch of black pepper and put in here, and stir it up, and then I've just served it with the a little cheddar product. cheese on top. Look how good that Just looks. don't look at all those green vegetables <laughs> and let them scare you. This soup, it tastes like a potato, chicken, Italian okay. soup. I'll put you a spoon over there if all you right, want to be. I'll try if it. If you want to be really brave yeah. and, and try some on You know there. what, while I'm doing oh. this, you have a special shout out. I do, like to today give, right? is my mom and dad's mm. anniversary. And I posted Aww. their wedding picture on our Facebook page so you all go check that out we and they certainly they're will just as cute and sweet Happy as they were back then. Happy anniversary and hey that one's delicious. Isn't that good? Yeah, we're gonna post that on our website at wbir.com. Good to see you. Thanks Thank for being you. here. All right so